Hello everyone, hope you are having a good day. My name is Kip Tan. I am in uh, Bangkok, Thailand. And uh, today I am over at this uh, one of these floating market here, which is uh, outside of uh, Bangkok, which is uh, within this uh, Mainburi district here. And uh, we're going to check out this uh, market here, this uh, floating market, and uh, see what's uh, interesting over here so i uh, hope you join me and uh, we are going to uh, take a stroll along this uh, market and uh, let's see uh, what's uh, interesting over here at this uh, quandrium uh, market here in uh, minburi district of uh, bangkok thailand so you can see here this is uh, one of the uh, decoration over at this uh, Quan Riam Coating Market. This is the uh, uh, buffalo structure here. This is the buffalo structure and uh, there's the sign board there that shows the Quan Riam Floating Market. That's in the uh, Thai language. And uh, this is the uh, mascot of this uh, Quanrium floating market over here in this uh, Mimburi of uh, Bangkok. I'll take a look inside the uh, market from here. I'm walking towards inside here. So you have some uh, items there on sale which uh, you can see the uh, bubbles that is uh, coming out uh, from that stick there with the ring at the end of it and uh, there's a mix of the uh, soap there where you can uh, keep it inside and then uh, the bubbles will be coming out so this is uh, should be interesting for those of you who have uh, kids so you can see that's how how these uh, kids are playing with it I think these are the uh, the children of the uh, the owner of this store so she's uh, showing on how to actually uh, play with this uh, stick here to get the bubble out from that uh, ring there so let's uh, walk uh, inside from here you can see these are the uh, stalls here some of the uh, old wooden structure stalls over at this Quanrium uh, market and quite a lot of uh, structures which are actually made from uh, wood at this Quanrium uh, floating market And this is one of the traditional Thai snacks. The roti sai mai. So this is also popular in uh, Ayutthaya province. So let's take a look further from here. Some uh, kids uh, stuff here. You can see here. So some of the kids sweets here. Some uh, toys as well. So there are some uh, old toy kits inside here as well. So, 
So let's take a look uh, further from here. There's this uh, coffee shop here. And some wooden made kitchenware and decorative items. This is one of the interesting sites over at this Quanrium floating market. Of course, uh, when you talk about the floating market, you will need to have the uh, water, right? So this is the uh, canal over this uh, Quanrium floating market. And this is where this market got its name, the uh, Quanrium floating market. So there were some uh, long boats there. You can see the uh, long tail boats that is that are being docked on the uh, river banks on the edge of this canal. So there is a small bridge over at the other end there. You can see, and there's another one here which is uh, more interesting here, which is much uh, bigger. Perhaps uh, we're going to take a look uh, from that upper level of this uh, bridge over here. So some uh, decorative statues here, the buffaloes with uh, a man and a woman riding on it. So you can see here the Quanriam floating market there. So that's the name of this uh, floating market. And this is where you can actually take some photographs over here for memories. It's kind of a sunny day over here in uh, Bangkok today. Then time now it's uh, 11.30 in the morning. So let's uh, explore further on this Quanrium floating market from uh, here. So I'm heading over at this uh, bridge here that I you can see earlier on and that's where I uh, came up from just now. So this is the staircase and uh, this is the bridge that we uh, seen earlier. So quite a number of uh, pigeons here as well. So you can see the canals from here. Beautiful sights over here at this Quanrium floating market at uh, this hour of the uh, morning in uh, Bangkok. So this is the other side of the Canal. You can see quite a number of uh, boats being uh, docked over the other side there, which I believe these are the boats which are being used. 
for sale of uh, food as well as uh, beverage including the other side as well So this is a white uh, bridge here, one of the uh, interesting bridge over here at this uh, Quanrium floating market. And uh, you can see some retail goods there, some consumer retail goods, some of the common uh, items on sale in the uh, floating market as well as the uh, night markets in Thailand so there is a temple over at the other side where we came from earlier and quite a beautiful uh, landscape over at the uh, temple over the other side there before we uh, cross over earlier at the other section of the uh, floating market and this is the general view of the uh, bridge that uh, we crossed over from earlier So over at this uh, section, over at this side of the uh, Quan Riem floating market, there are more stalls here, more food stalls here, more street foods available, which are more lively over this uh, side here of this uh, Quan Riem market. You can see kind of lots of these uh, Thai sweets here, snacks. And then you have uh, coffee stalls here as well, some uh, sushi here. And uh, more Thai uh, sweets here, traditional Thai sweets over here. So a lot of selections of uh, Thai sweets over here. So this is the deep fried uh, pork skin or the cat mo and this is the the Sai Ua the uh, the northern northern Thai sausage here. Some uh, cakes there. Looks uh, sweet. Looks uh, savory there. And I'm going to get uh, this uh, Sai Ua, the Northern Thai uh, sausage, and uh, let's uh, check it out how it uh, tastes like. You can see a lot of uh, barbecue skewers here as well. You have the uh, pork, bacon, chicken and beef. Quite a number of choices of meat there. So you have more sweets here. Some uh, deep fried uh, stuff here. These are the uh, Thot Man and you have a few uh, choices here The Squid Mushroom as well as the Fish
Then you have this uh, Isan sausage. So the earlier one was the Northern Thai sausage. And this is the Isan style sausage. For 50 baht, this uh, small size. And uh, 100 baht for this uh, bigger size there. So I'm going to get uh, one of these here and uh, check it out. And then some uh, dim sum here, you can see the siu mai there. And then this is the uh, rice vermicelli with the uh, fish ball there. So these are the siu mai there. And the crispy or the deep white wonton skin. We also have the salapau here. The steam bungee with the bachang or the sticky rice dumpling there. Inside, I like So, this uh, salapau or the steam bun is uh, 60 baht for uh, one here for one box. And there is this uh, deep fried uh, tau, tofu here, deep fried uh, bean curd. So one box of this is uh, 60 baht. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Right. So let's uh, check out this one here and see how it tastes like. The Thai style snacks here, Thai snacks, the mee crop. This is the crispy, crispy noodles here. So there are a lot of uh, Thai style chilies here as well. You can see here a lot of uh, Hi, Julie's here. You can see here even the uh, plastic bags used by some of the vendors here even have this uh, the mascot here. This is the buffalo mascot of this Quandrium uh, floating market. So one of the interesting findings over here at this uh, Quandrium floating market in uh, Minburi district of uh, Bangkok. So these are some of the street food that I've got from here. You can see this is the steam buns here. And then you have the Sai Kok Isan or the, the uh, northeastern style sausage. And then this is the Sai Ua. The Northern Thai sausage north. From, the north sausage from the north of Thailand and then you have the Tauhu Thot or this is the uh, deep fried uh, bean curd here so uh, let's check out some of this uh, food here at this uh, Quandrium uh, market Now this uh, Sai Kok Isan here, you definitely have to eat this Sai Kok Isan with this uh, Chinese uh, cabbage here with the ginger and uh, you wrap it with this uh, sausage here to make it a complete uh, eating experience of this uh, northeastern style sausage here. So you can also uh, put in, you can also eat it with this uh, chili here. Once you have uh, put this into your your mouth. So, Sai Kok Isan. The Isan style sausage is 
one of my favorite uh, Thai street food and uh, if you have the chance to check it out in this uh, any of the markets not only in Phuong Ryang check it out this is one of the good uh, sausage uh, dish in Thailand so this is the northern style sausage here the side wa have a slight uh, similarity with the uh, inside pork isan or the isan style sausage so you may be confused but uh, the taste is uh, slightly different between the uh, two sausage uh, dish so you also will eat that to complete this eating experience of this uh, northern style sausage with this uh, Chinese cabbage there you just wrap it under the uh, this uh, cabbage here, the Chinese cabbage. The northern style sausage is uh, not as sourish, but uh, it's uh, spicier than the uh, the eastern style or the uh, northeastern style sausage. So that's the difference between these uh, two sausage. So I've got this uh, steam buns here, the salapao as well. And uh, let's check out the uh, filling of this uh, salapao here. So this I think is the musa or the uh, means uh, pork. Feeling here. A generous portion of the beef meat there. The texture of the meat is good. It's really tender there. It's not uh, salty. It has a strong peppery taste to it. And the texture of the bun. Uh, soft yeah this is uh, one of a good uh, steam bun so at this uh, one way I'm quoting market The, the taro peeling, this is the sweet version. The taro peeling there is not too sweet, has a strong taro taste to it. And the bun, as I mentioned earlier, the texture of the bun here is uh, soft. Yeah, this is one of the uh, good salapao here in Kuan Ryam Kuting Market This is the Tauhu Thot or the deep fried uh, bean curd here the Tauhu and uh, you need to eat this with the sauce here the chili with the peanut there Tofu is not salty, has a very tender texture. The sauce is a little bit sweet there, and uh, there is a very good combination between this uh, tofu with the uh, with the sauce there. So this is where I mentioned earlier the uh, long tail boats here and uh, you can actually tour around this uh, canal over at this Kwan Ria market 
with this uh, boat here which costs only uh, 40 baht for one person so if you uh, enjoy the uh, river cruise you can uh, hop into this uh, boat here and uh, have a leisure cruise around along this uh, canal at this uh, Quan Riem uh, floating market now that uh, is the uh, end of this Quan Riem floating market tour as well as the street food experience over at this Minburi district in uh, Bangkok I hope you enjoy watching this uh, series of this uh, Bangkok floating market in this Quan Riem floating market so I hope you can give me a thumbs up if you enjoy watching this uh, video and for those of you who have not uh, subscribed to my channel please uh, help me to subscribe to my channel and feel free to uh, comment if you do have any uh, comments and uh, thank you very much for watching thank you very much for your support I will see you in my next video